So it's December 2nd now, and we are going through the uh, Advent season. Pastor Chris is doing the odd days, I'm doing the even days. And we're also working through uh, John Piper's book and uh, enjoying that together. And kind of just bouncing off of some thoughts that he's uh, taking for that day. And today was my day, so he is talking about, uh, today's devotion was about um, preparing your heart for the coming of Christ. And so I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, I am the pastor of Christian Education and Missions. And with missions, I get a chance to travel quite a bit. And there are things that I don't really like about traveling. Uh, I don't like to go through security checkpoints. Not really fond of being on an airplane for 8 to 10 to 12 hours at a time sometimes. Uh, but there are some moments of the travel that I really enjoy. Certainly with being with the people that I'm going to be with on the other side. And then uh, coming home is always nice as well. And one of those things that I always uh, look forward to is walking back through the checkpoint when you get back into the United States. You walk up to the line and you have your passport in your hand and you have the customs declaration that you filled out on the airplane. And you walk up to the, the customs official and you hand them your passport. And they always look it over a little bit. They take your piece of paper and they ask you a few questions. They ask you things like, where have you been? What have you been doing? How long have you been gone? But you know what? I've never had a customs official ask me this question. Have you repented? I've never asked, heard him ask me the question, is your heart prepared to enter the United States? And yet that's exactly what Jesus says when uh, he begins his ministry. In Matthew's Gospel, uh, the first thing that Matthew records Jesus saying when he begins his preaching ministry is repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now that's a familiar message because John the Baptist had said exactly that same thing just, just at Jesus' baptism uh, just before that, a uh, chapter or so before that. Uh, as people were coming to John, he was asking them to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And so I want to talk a little bit about repentance uh, today and, and think about the, the, the aspect of that that is preparing your heart for the advent of Christ, for his coming into the world and for his coming to you individually as well. So let's talk about that word repent a little bit more. I'm sure that if you've heard it preached anytime recently, uh, the preacher will almost always say that the Greek word behind that word repent is metanoia which means changing of one's mind, right? Change your mind. And we sing about it when we sing Amazing Grace. We say, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. And when we sing about it that way, we sing about it in terms of a past tense, right? It is something that has already been accomplished, our salvation, if we are in Christ. And amen to that. That is absolutely true. Uh, we, uh, that is a past tense reality for us. God has accomplished that in Christ for us already. But there's also a sense in which repentance and the changing of your mind is a continual process in your Christian life. Romans 12.2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this is something that keeps going. It's ongoing, right? And so that official who checks your passport when you're coming back into the States, he doesn't know much about your repentance or your, uh, your mental state or the state of your heart. Um, he doesn't really care too much about that because he's welcoming you back to an earthly kingdom. And yet, Romans tells us that we're supposed to be transformed if we're going to be able to enter into a spiritual kingdom. And so that's what we're talking about with that idea of repentance, a changing of one's heart and a changing of one's mind. It's preparing ourselves for what God has for us in Christ. Not just his salvation of us um, from our sin, but also a walk with him in this life. And so we also think about it at this time of Christmas when we sing that song that says, um, it let every heart prepare him room. That's what repentance means as well. Preparing in your heart and in your mind room for Christ to come. He wants to be there to dwell in you, to change you from the inside out so that you will no longer be conformed to this world, but will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He's telling us we need to be reminded because we often get off track. And so we might become disoriented and we need to be reoriented. Or we might become distracted and we need to be retracted. Well, I guess that doesn't actually work, does it? Retracted isn't a word in that sense. But you understand what I'm saying, right? We need to get back on track. And oftentimes that causes us to need repentance. And so I'd encourage you, even at this time of the year, to think about repentance for your life. Would you make more room in your heart for Jesus now? Prepare Him room by repenting.